Data entry is very common thing in Excel. But when we do data entry manually, it takes lots of time. In today's video, we will see how we can create a fully dynamic data entry tracker in Excel. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a data entry sheet which I have created in Excel. Before creating the format, let's see how it works. On the left hand side, we have got all the details and over here, we will have to fill up our data. Same over here also. Here are the details and here the data will be filled. In front of every entry box, we can see cross and over here it's written data pending to be filled. Let's fill up some data. As soon as I entered my name, cross got changed to tick. Let's do all the entries. Mobile number. We will have to enter 10 digits over here. If we will put less digits, it's not going to accept. I have entered four digits. Now I'll hit enter and we got an alert. I'll cancel this and will insert 10 digits number. Enter. And the entry was done perfectly. I'll put some details over here also. All the entries are done except one. I'll do some entry over here also. Still we can see data pending to be filled. I have done the entry over here. Now I'll hit enter. And we got ready to submit. We have got second sheet where our entries will be done. Right now it's blank. I'll go to my data entry sheet and we'll click on submit. The data got blank. Now we will come to our final data and we can see the entry over here. We'll go to data entry sheet once again. Here we have got two buttons, submit and clear. We have just seen what submit button does. Now we will see what clear button will do. By mistake, I have done some entry. I have done the entries and after doing the entries, I have realized that the entries were wrong. Now I'll click on clear and all the entries will be cleared automatically. Let's start creating the format now. I have opened a new workbook. This will be data entry. Data entry form. We select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. We'll click on C5. This will be name. We'll leave one row blank. We'll come down. Father's name. We'll put our heads in alternate rows. Date of birth. Gender. City. State. Mobile number. We'll adjust the column size. We'll take this closer. We'll take column B closer. We'll leave D blank and we'll take this closer. We'll increase the size of column C. We'll click over here just in front of name and we'll insert borders. We are going to do entry over here. So I'll put some light color, means gray color. We'll click over here and we'll put our formula plus or equal to if bracket open. We'll click on entry cell is equal to if this will be blank, for blank we will insert double inverted comma twice. Comma, if this will be blank, we want cross. So I'll put double inverted comma O, double inverted comma close, comma, if this will not be blank, we want to feature tick. So I'll put double inverted comma P, double inverted comma close, bracket close, and I'll hit enter. We'll take this in center. So O is cross and P is tick. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to, I'll type O over here, capital O. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill, in fill, there will be no color. Font, font will be red. Red will be for cross. Now I'll do OK. OK. So O got highlighted in red. We'll go to conditional formatting once again. Highlight cell rule equal to, this time I'll type P, capital P. We'll click on the drop down, customize format, fill, no color in fill, font, font color will be green. And we'll do OK. OK. Now I'll go to my fonts and we'll change the font style. And the font style will be Wingdings, Wingdings 2. In Wingdings font, O is cross and P is tick. If I'll do some entry over here, this will be tick. We'll delete this. Now I'll copy both, Control C or Command C, and we'll paste in front of each head. Gender. For gender, we will create dropdown. We'll go to Data, Data Validation. From here, I'll select List, Source. I'll type Male, Comma, female and we'll do OK. So the drop down got created. We'll delete this. We'll leave G blank. We'll take this closer. We'll click over here. Registration number, joining date, batch number, course. We'll copy this, Control C or Command C and we'll paste over here. We'll take this closer. We'll select this and we'll increase the column size. Now we will select our heads. 
and we'll increase the column size. We'll click over here and we'll select till end. We'll go to home and we'll merge this. This will be data entry form. We'll select this and we'll put some color. We'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll increase the font size. We'll merge K also. We'll put borders. Now I'll select this. We'll put thick border. We'll merge V also. We'll take this closer. We'll go to view, show, and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll select blank rows by pressing control or command, and we'll take this closer. Perfect. Now I'll click on mobile number. We'll go to data, data validation. We'll click on the drop down, and from here I'll go to text length. Minimum and maximum. Minimum 10, maximum 10. And we'll do OK. If I'll put four digits, enter, it's not going to accept. I'll cancel this. We'll go to insert, shapes, and from here I'll select a shape. We'll click over here and the shape will be inserted. We'll adjust the size. We'll go to shape format and we'll remove the outlines, means no outline. We'll put some color over here. We'll click over here. We'll go to bevel and we'll select this shape. We'll go over here once again, shadow, and we'll give it a shadow. We'll adjust the size. We'll double click on the shape. This will be submit. We'll take this in center. We'll change the font style. We'll make it bold. We'll increase the font size. Now I'll press control and we'll drag this shape. We'll adjust this. We'll click on the next shape and we'll change the color. This will be clear. Perfect. Now I'll click over here. And we'll insert our formula plus or equal to count if bracket open range. Our range will be this comma. We want to count tick mark means P. So I'll put double inverted comma P double inverted comma close bracket close. We'll copy our formula. Control C or command C will come in the end plus we'll paste our formula. Control V or command V will come in the center and we'll change our range. Earlier we had selected this range. This time we are going to select this range. Now we will hit enter. We can see zero over here. We'll take this in center. If I'll do some entry over here, number got changed to one. Total entry cells are 11. Means I have counted all these cells. Now I'll click over here. We'll select this and we'll merge together. We'll put borders and our formula over here will be plus or equal to if bracket open this cell means where we are going to count our tick marks is not equal to for not equal to I'll put smaller than greater than not equal to 11. 11 is the number of these cells means entry cells comma if this will not be equal to 11 we want data pending to be filled so I'll put double inverted comma data pending comma to be filled double inverted comma close and if this will be equal to 11 we want comma double inverted comma ready to submit double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter so currently it's showing data pending to be filled now we will click over here and we'll make the font color as white we'll click over here now we will go to formula bar and we'll copy this means data pending to be filled control c or command c we'll go to conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to and we'll paste over here what we have copied right now We'll click on the drop down, customize format, fill. From here, I'll select red color, font, font color will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. We'll wrap the text and we'll increase the font size. We'll change the font style. We'll go to formula bar once again and we'll copy ready to submit. Control C or Command C. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to. And over here, we will paste what we have copied right now. We'll click on the drop down, customize format, fill. We will select green color and font. Font color will be white and we'll do OK. OK. So once all the entries will be done, the color will change to green and we will be able to see ready to submit. This form is ready now. We will do some entries. We'll take this in center. Once all the entries got done, we can see ready to submit. Now I'll select both the dates. We'll press Ctrl-1 and we'll select a desired date format. And we'll do OK. We'll take this in center. Perfect. Now we will insert one more sheet and this will be raw data. We will insert one more sheet 
and this will be final data. We'll come to data entry form, we'll copy all the heads, control C or command C, and we'll paste over here. We'll remove blank rows, we'll copy these heads, control C or command C, and we'll paste over here. We'll come down and we'll remove the blank rows. We'll select this and we'll create borders. Over here also we will create borders. We'll go on top, we'll click in front of name, plus or equal to, and we'll click on name over here. Enter, plus or equal to, we'll click on father's name and we'll connect this. In the same way, we will connect all the heads. Enter, we'll take all the things in center, or let's take in left. Now we will copy all the heads, Control C or Command C. We'll go to final data. We'll click over here. We'll right click the mouse, paste special. We'll take this up, values, transpose. Okay. So we can see all the heads. We'll go to home and we'll take all the things in center. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll put borders. We'll adjust the column size. We'll take this closer. We'll go to view, show, and we'll remove the grid lines. Now we will go to our data entry form and we'll record our macros. We'll go to developer. On the extreme left hand side, we get the option of record macros. We will click over here and we'll give it a name, summit. In case you want to create shortcut key, you can. I'll do OK and our recording started. Now I'll copy these, means all the entries, control C or command C. We'll go to raw data, we'll click on top, we'll right click the mouse, paste special, We'll take this up, values, transpose, OK. We'll go to home and we'll create borders. Now I'll copy this, control C or command C. We'll go to final data sheet. We'll click just under name. We'll go to home, insert, insert copied cells. Over here we get two options, shift cells right, shift cells down. We will click on shift cells down and we'll do OK. We'll take all the things in center. Date format got changed. I'll click on top, we'll press Ctrl or Command and we'll select this date also. We'll press Ctrl 1, we'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format. And we'll do OK. We'll click over here, we'll go to data entry form, we'll delete all the entries, we'll click just in front of name, we'll go to developer and we'll stop our recording. So one macro got recorded. I'll do some entry once again. We'll go on top, we'll go to developer record macros and this will be clear. We'll do OK. So our recording got started. We'll select this and we'll delete. We'll delete these also. We'll click over here. We'll go to developer and we'll stop our recording. So we recorded two macros. Now we will hide this. Hide. You don't have to delete this. Otherwise format will not work. I'll click on submit button. We'll right click the mouse, assign macro and from here I'll select submit and we'll do OK. Now I'll click on clear button, we'll right click the mouse, assign macro and from here I'll select clear. OK. We'll go to final data and over here we have got one entry. Let's go to data entry sheet or data entry form. We'll do some entry over here. Now we will click on submit. The form got blank. We'll go to our final data sheet and we can see the entry of Alex over here on top of Vijay. To save this file, you'll have to click on save. Put a name over here, data, click on the drop down and select Excel macro enabled workbook and click on save. So in this way, you can create your format. I'll provide link of this file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.